Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's Christmas motivation video. Today I'm gonna to be wrapping some presents and answering a few of your questions that you asked me over on Instagram. And then later in the video, I'm gonna give you some cleaning and baking motivation as well. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. And many of you who have been here for a while know that I have collaborated with them in the past because I genuinely love this brand and love their jewelry. So Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that makes beautiful and high quality jewelry at very fair and affordable prices. And you guys know that I am all about that sustainable lifestyle. So these three pieces that I'm showing you guys right here are some Christmas gifts for two very special ladies in my life. So if you guys are still looking for some last minute Christmas gifts, like I know that I am, Ana Luisa is currently having their biggest sale of the year. So be sure to check out the link in my description box so you can shop their buy one, get one 40% off deal that they're having right now, get something for yourself and for someone that you love. But I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping these beautiful pieces right now. Thank you so much again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're new. I would love to have you. that I need to wrap and I'm gonna do the best that I can while I am wrapping these presents to answer some of your questions. So I had asked you guys over on Instagram um, if you had any questions for me and really funny that almost every single person that asked me a question had the same question and then I had a few others that were a little bit different. Um, so I'm gonna start with my most asked question and that is what is my biggest goal for the new year for 2021 and I have to say this is a really hard question to answer um, mostly because this past year I accomplished so many things that I would not have normally accomplished just because of the fact that we were quarantined and life was so different this past year um, so I feel like I got a lot of things Done that I didn't think I was gonna get done in 2020 but then there are also quite a few things that I didn't get done this year just because of you know everything that's been going on I would say for me personally probably my biggest goal is to grow my YouTube channel you guys know that I really love making videos and it's just such a hobby and passion of mine and <laughs> she's gonna be a problem this whole video I can already tell are you gonna be a problem are you gonna be a problem? It's been such a passion of mine and I really do love making videos for you guys and I just wanna to continue to make good content and grow my channel and I just love and appreciate all of you so much. So that is definitely a big personal goal. I also have some goals like on, in the house, things that I wanna do and accomplish. I wanna fix up the backyard. I wanna renovate a bathroom upstairs, things like that, um, but yeah, I would say my biggest goal probably for the next year is to grow my channel and also um, to just be happy and healthy in, in all ways. And I think that this year, if it's taught us anything, it's really that those are just the two really most important things is your happiness, your mental health and your physical health. And so those are two things that I really try to work on all the time, but wanna try and work on even more um, in the next year. So that is definitely uh, my biggest goal. And now I'm gonna time lapse some wrapping of some packages just because I am not a good multitasker. So um, I'm gonna wrap a couple packages and then I'll answer another question. A 
Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm-mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents. As long as I spend this day. present and I'll just show you kind of what the outside looks like um so this one is just a small little gift I got for Jack I actually got this paper today at school it's like woodland creatures I think it is literally the cutest thing ever just put a little gold bow and a tag on it um Josie's really into like all of the ribbon <laughs> so these bows have been coming in handy because um she's been chewing all the ribbon off the packages so um, definitely love these bows. So there's another present done, which is great. Um, and then I think these last two ones here that I have to actually wrap with wrapping paper. One is for my brother and one is for Jack. And then um, this one here that I just wrapped um, with the jewelry from my mom. I'm gonna set there under the tree. And then I think that's it, that white box. Um, so I have a white box and I'm actually mailing that to my best friend so I don't need to wrap it or anything I just need to write her address and stuff on the box and I'm not gonna do that on camera of course but um, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and answer another question that you guys asked me so um, the biggest question that was asked was the goals one and then I got a couple of questions that were worded very similarly who is my biggest YouTube influence or who is my biggest YouTube idol um, somebody who I really admire in the YouTube community and I would have to say it just kind of depends. It's interesting. I know that we watch different people on YouTube for different reasons and everybody has their talent and the things that they are really good at and the reason we keep coming back to their channels. And I would say probably two of my biggest influences in terms of the YouTube space um, are Brianna Kay and Amy Darley. And I would say those two women are definitely my, some of my biggest inspirations because both Brianna and Amy were teachers and if you guys don't follow them, um, you should. They're, uh, they make amazing content and they're just really inspiring. Um, if you don't know, I am a teacher. And so one of the things that really drew me to both of those women and their channels is the fact that um, for a point in their life, they were YouTubers and teachers at the same time and moms as well. And I know that I, you know, certainly am in a great spot because I don't have children right now and my life is not as chaotic as it could be, but just really props to anybody who does YouTube and also works another job on top of that because it is really hard. And I just admire both of them so much for being educators and, you know, working in that profession. Um, I just love being a teacher. So I think that's kind of what initially drew me to their channels. And then I also started, when I first started like watching YouTube videos that are kind of in my niche, I really loved watching Alexander Buter's videos. I just think that um, she's just so cute and has a great personality. And I love, I also love, love Meg. Um, she's another big inspiration just in terms of like where her channel started and where she is now. Um, I also really love her content, but um, if you guys know any other YouTubers who are also teachers, please leave their um, YouTube channel down in the comments because I just really love to connect with other YouTubers that are teachers and it just makes me kind of feel like I'm not alone in this space, but those are definitely two of probably my biggest YouTube inspirations. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap one of these gifts and then I will answer some more questions.
another present done. That one was for my brother. Um, I always feel like I can't show what I'm what I get people just because I have a feeling they'll probably watch this video and then they'll know what I got them since this video is going up before Christmas. But um, this one for Jack is next. But uh, I'm gonna answer two more questions that you guys asked me. Um, and one of the questions was how did my boyfriend and I meet? Um, so, funny enough, we both met on a dating app. Um, for those of you who are familiar with dating apps, um, we met on Bumble, which is a dating app where the girl has to message the guy first. It's just like the way the app, um, that's just kind of like the way the app works. So like once you match or once it says that like, oh, you guys like each other, um, then the girl messages the guy first. But we um, had a ton of mutual friends in common. Um, his roommates are some ladies that I went to um, college with and we also had a ton of other mutual friends um, that were all musicians. We were both music majors at two different schools. So even though I didn't really know him and he wasn't um, from the area and he went to a different college than I did, I felt totally comfortable and safe with um, getting to know him and meeting up with him. Um, just knowing how many mutual friends we had in common and it really obviously ended up working out really well. Um, I know that I feel like that's such millennial dating is meeting on a dating app, but I'm so curious. Let me know in the comments how you met your significant other. I don't know if it's just a generational thing that a lot of us met our significant others on a dating app, but yeah, we've been together for, um, two and a half years now. Um, so we met in 2018 and yeah, we've been together ever since. He's a great guy. So that was one of the questions you guys had asked me. So another question that you guys had also asked um, about that was YouTube related. I feel like a lot of the questions were YouTube related, which is funny because I was thinking you guys had asked me a lot more personal questions. But um, another question that you guys asked me related to YouTube was what made me want to start a YouTube channel in the first place. And it's kind of funny. Um, I've had several friends um, since I have started my YouTube channel that have kind of started their own channels and have kind of taken the leap in doing YouTube and stuff. I definitely think it's becoming pretty popular to have a YouTube channel and there's just so many different spaces out there in which to have a channel. There's a lot of people that make lifestyle content like I do, mom bloggers, cleaning channels, um, decorating, lifestyle stuff. There's beauty and fashion and there's, I mean, literally <laughs> there's a niche for everybody. But what really made me want to start my YouTube channel I had wanted to start a YouTube channel for a very long time. And I remember I was watching YouTube videos long before Jack and I started dating, but I remember that I, I would watch YouTube videos and I would watch other YouTubers and he would be sitting in the same room and he'd be like, why don't you, why don't you do this? Like you do all these things anyway. Like you always clean and you love decorating and you just, you do this stuff anyway. Why not film it and, and share it with people and, um, you know, it's kind of funny cause he, it's like, he knew what was on my heart and he knew that it's something that I was definitely interested in trying and that I wanted to do. And, um, I would say Jack was probably the first person that really knew that I wanted to do it. And I toyed around with the idea for probably about a year, <laughs> um, before I actually jumped in and really the timing was kind of crazy because I posted my first video. If you go back and look at my first video, it's been almost one year. I posted my first video, I believe toward the end of January, beginning of February. And then COVID happened. So it was like, wow, I wasn't, I, I really wasn't expecting this. And I didn't really know where my channel was going to go from there. Um, being stuck at home, I was like, gosh, I could, you know, maybe this isn't going to work out for me, but um, it ended up really working in my favor. We did a lot of house projects, you know, over the last year and things like that, I was able to document. And I just kind of felt like that helped me to continue to stay motivated and inspired to make content. And that is definitely one thing I would say, um, if those of you who asked that question were asking, cause you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel yourself, um, you have to stick with it and you have to constantly find ways to stay inspired and stay motivated yourself. I think it's really easy um, making content to motivate other people, but you have to get that motivation from somewhere. 
and I have met so many great women doing YouTube here in this space and their videos honestly motivate me so much to like get up and get things do you know going and and do things and get it all done and you know it really does motivate me so much and I think when you have somebody that inspires you like that um, it just kind of keeps you going and I really wasn't expecting when COVID started for inspiration to come out of that but somehow it did and Anyway, that was a very long way of answering that question, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this present for Jack, and then I will come back and answer one more question, and then we're gonna move on to some cleaning and some baking. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. Honestly, it feels so good. And <laughs> one of the um, ways that I got away with not wrapping as many gifts this year is I put the majority of the things for Josie in her stocking that were really tiny and same thing for Jack's. I was like, I'm not gonna wrap something that is this small. I'm just going to throw it in the stocking. That's what they're for. <laughs> and then I just kind of wrapped like the bigger items. Um, and then I have one more thing for my parents, but it's not, doesn't really need to be wrapped. Um, and then I'm pretty sure that's it. I, I'm fairly certain that all of my Christmas wrapping, shopping, everything is done. So I just need to mail that gift out to my best friend. And um, it was her birthday this, or today is her birthday. The day that I'm filming this is her birthday. And um, so it's kind of like a birthday and Christmas present in one. And I always think it's funny because I know that she always said while we were growing up that she did not like that her birthday was around Christmas because she felt like she got, she got like gypped on presents, you know? Anybody else have a birthday in December and kind of feel like they combine birthday and Christmas into one so you get a little gypped on presents? But <laughs> I don't know, I just, I always feel bad when I send her something for um, both holidays, but I know she doesn't care, so love you, Cass. But anyway, um, I have two more questions that I'm gonna answer and then we're gonna move on to the cleaning and baking. Um, so there were a few like little random questions uh, that you guys had asked. What's my favorite food and, and things like that. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to answer was um, some of you asked me what I teach. I know I mentioned it, but it's not on like my bio on Instagram or anything. So um, some of you may not know that I'm a teacher and some of you may not know what I teach. So I work in an elementary school. I teach kindergarten through fifth grade music. So my degree is in music, um, music education specifically. So yeah, I teach all the kids in the building music and it's been a really trying year, <laughs> but normally my job is super, super hands-on and fun and I love it. I've just kind of had to you know, adapt a little bit this year, but that was one of the questions that you guys asked me. And another question that you asked me is do I have any plans for videos in the spring already? Anything that I know I'm gonna be filming or working on? And um, the answer is yes and no. <laughs> I have things that I know I'd like to be filming and I'd like to work on, but really I just kind of feel like I'm taking it one day at a time. Uh, I don't have any big plans at the moment for things I'm gonna be filming, but as soon as I know, you guys will be the first to know. So if you guys aren't following me over on Instagram and you didn't have an opportunity to ask me any of these questions, then be sure to give me a follow over there so you don't miss you know, the next time I decide to do a QA. and I don't know. I don't know when that'll be, but definitely make sure you're following me over there. And we're gonna go ahead and get into some cleaning now. And so if you are needing to tackle your to-do list today, then grab what you need to do and come clean with me. And then definitely be sure to stick around till the end of the video because I'm gonna include some yummy baking recipes and different treats. So let's go ahead and get started with cleaning. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes 
And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep does anyone else feel like Josie is the star of this entire video? She's literally in every clip. She follows me around all over the house. It's the cutest thing. But anyway, I'm gonna get started by stripping the bed sheets and throwing those in the laundry. It had been a little while since I had done those. I'm doing a load of towels first and then I'll do um, my bed sheets. But there's just gonna be a little bit of cleaning motivation in this video. I'm going to tackle the bathroom, then we're gonna mop the floors, and then I cannot wait to share with you guys two of my cookie recipes. I gave these to some co-workers for the holidays and oh my goodness you guys they are really good. I'll be sure to link their recipes down in the description box so be sure to stick around till that and by the way if you are still watching thank you so much. Please leave me a Christmas tree emoji in the comments that way I know who is sticking around and watching the video and if you haven't hit that like button yet make sure you do so. It's a magical time full of kisses Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose Moving nimbly Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow My floors had not been mopped in a minute and I'm really glad that I did them in this video because we have been tracking in so much more stuff onto these floors just because I know I'm wearing boots a lot more and then Jack has been wearing boots too and sometimes we just walk in and totally forget to take them off and so we're tracking things in on these hard floors all the time. And let me know in the comments if you guys have any really cool gadgets or new things that you guys are using to clean your hard floors, whether you have um, the planks like I do or laminate floors or real hardwoods, whatever you have. If you have a hard floor, let me know if you use something really cool in the comments because I'm always looking for new gadgets and just something to make my life a little bit easier and then keeping an eye for those sales. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. I'm not 
think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. There is probably nothing better in my mind than fresh, clean sheets, and I cannot tell you how excited I was to get in bed after I filmed this video, but we are moving on to those cookie recipes that I promised that I was sharing with you. So the two recipes that you guys are gonna see in today's video, one is a sugar cookie recipe that is kind of like a peanut butter blossom. So if you guys have ever made peanut butter blossoms before, you know that they're made with peanut butter. I made a sugar cookie version so they still have the kiss in the middle, the Hershey's kiss. And then I'm also making chocolate crackle cookies. So both of these recipes were pretty similar. I'm doing the sugar cookie blossoms first. I'm just gonna cream some butter and sugar together in my mixer. And then I'm gonna put all of the dry ingredients in a separate bowl. And then I'm gonna slowly add the dry ingredients into the wet. So you guys know that I'll leave the recipe down in the description box so you don't have to memorize any of this. But the really important thing when baking is always to try to leave your ingredients out at room temperature. So your butter, your eggs, all that stuff. If you want it at room temperature, it just makes everything so much easier to mix. And then once I finish making this mix, I'm actually gonna put it into this blue bowl right here and it's gonna chill in the refrigerator. You definitely want these kind of cookies to be cold when you roll them out. So I'm gonna chill that and then I will move on to the chocolate crackle cookie recipe. And then I actually had to do the same thing. I had to chill that one too. I should probably mention that I feel like the cookies, when I make them, definitely are a lot bigger than they probably are supposed to be. So I would imagine that these recipes would make a lot more cookies if you made them a slight bit smaller than I did. I think I used a two tablespoon scoop. You'll see in just a second when I start rolling them out. But anyway, this is what the sugar cookies look like once they had been rolled up and then I rolled them in some of these little sprinkles and you can use whatever sprinkles that you have on hand. So I kind of did a mixture, but you can see they're really big. I'm pretty sure I used a two tablespoon scoop, but if you have a one tablespoon scoop, you could totally make them smaller and get more cookies out of them. But anyway, these were so, so easy to make. And then once they have come out of the oven, you want to let them sit for, probably a minute or two. You don't want them to be super hot because you're gonna place one of these Hershey's Kisses in the center. If you do it too soon, then the Hershey's Kiss will melt completely <laughs> and you don't want that. So definitely let it cool for a little bit. And then once they've cooled, you can just put it right in the center while the cookie is still slightly warm and slightly soft. And these were so delicious, so, so good. Making small talk with people that pass me by. I share a laugh, it gives me joy That everyone's having a good, good time I hear the jingle bells, people singing about love It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young And 
So I didn't get any after shots of what the crackle cookies looked like because I'm pretty sure I ate one and then went, went to bed, but you guys have probably had these before. You just roll them in some granulated sugar and then powdered sugar, and then when they come out, they kind of look like snow-capped mountains and they're super chocolatey and delicious. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit the like button and make sure to check out the link in my description box for Anna Luisa if you are still looking for a last minute Christmas gift for your loved ones. You don't wanna miss out on that buy one, get one 40% off deal. But I will see you guys really soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.